everyone, I'm back and I'm Teacher V. Sasagutan natin ngayon yung inyong mga learners packet o yung dip. Week 4 na tayo and this is for grade 10 students. Permutations or combination problem. Learning task number 1, solve the following permutation and combination problems. In how many ways can you arrange 4 mathematics books, 5 science books, and 2 English books on a shelf such that books of the same subject are kept together. Muna natin yung mga given. We have the format books. At ang gagamitin natin dito is yung FCP or Fundamental Counting Principle. So para malaman natin kung ilang ways pwede natin maayos yung apat na math books, edi ilet natin as N factorial or simply 4 factorial dahil 4 yung ating N dito. Sa 5 science books. So, ganun din para malaman natin yung number of ways na pwede natin ma-arrange yung limang science books. FCP, yung gamitin natin, N factorial. At ang N natin dito is 5. That's why 5 factorial. And yung 2 English books, so 2 factorial. Para makuha natin yung total arrangement nila, nilang tatlo, i-multiply natin. 4 factorial times 5 factorial times 2 factorial. Pwede nyo i-calcule na lang to para mas mabilis. The answer is 5,760. Ito na ba yung answer natin sa so number 1? Okay. Hindi pa. Kasi itong 5,760, okay, ito'y pa lang yung total ways ng mga books natin na pwede ma-arrange. Pero, pwede pa kasi dahil ito ay tatlong set, pwede pa natin itong uh, maiba-iba ng pwesto. So, uh, Nandaan na meron tayong math, English, science. So, itong math, English, science na to, pwede mo pa yung bagu-baguhin or i-arrange. So, meron ka pang tatlong set dito. Kaya, kukunin mo rin yung factorial nitong uh, three sets natin. So, we will let or use three factorial. Okay? And, yung three factorial na to, ang ita times natin sa 5,760. So, 5,760 times 3 factorial, the answer is 34,560. Ito na yung answer natin talaga. There are 34,560 ways we can arrange the books on a shelf that books of the same subject are kept together. Okay? Ayan. Next, number 2. In how many ways can 6 students be seated in a row of 6 seats? If two of the students insist on sitting beside each other. So, we will let uh, student 1. Okay, ngayon dito sa student 6 kasi anim daw na students. And meron dalawang students na gusto nila magkatabi lang talaga sila yung nila maghiwalay. So, let's say itong si student 5 at saka si student 6. six. At dahil hindi nga sila pwedeng maghiwalay, pwede na natin sila i-considered as one unit. Kaya, ang magiging N natin dito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 units lang, hindi 6 units. Kasi nga, itong uh, ating dalawang student, i-consider natin as 1 dahil hindi nga sila maghihiwalay. Ang n natin is 5, therefore, n factorial or 5 factorial is equal to 720. Pero may mga possibility pa rin na itong si student 5 at si student uh, 6 ay magkapalit ng pwesto. So, pag nagkapalit sila ng pwesto, another uh, n factorial ulit yon Kaya itong 720, ito times lang natin sa 2. So, 5 factorial times 2, or 720 times 2, the answer is 1,440. So, there are 1,440 ways that the 6 students be seated on a row with 2 students sitting beside each other. So, again, bakit? Tinayin sa 2 kasi pwede pang isang set na magkabaliktad naman sila. Okay? Kaya idodoblihin na lang natin para hindi na tayo mag mano-mano pa ulit na computation. Next, in a gathering, the host makes sure that each guest shake hands with everyone else. If there are 20 guests, how many hands sh shakes will be done? Ito, ang, ang gagamitin natin dito is combination kasi handshaking. Diba? Ang handshaking is best example of combination. Ang handshaking ay isang example ng combination. So, ang ating N is 20. So, that is the number of guests. Then, yung R natin dito is 2. Bakit 2? 
Kasi sa kada handshake, dalawang tao dapat. Hindi ka pwede makipag-handshake sa sarili mo. Right? So, kailangan dalawa. Kaya yung R natin is 2. And we substitute to our combination formula. So, N factorial over R factorial times the difference of N and R factorial. Substitute natin. So, yung N natin is 20. Then, sa baba is 2 factorial dahil sa R. And then, 20 yung N minus 2. 20 minus 2 is 18. 18 factorial. So, pwede natin isimplify ng pag na lang yung 20 times 19 times 18 factorial. Stop na tayo dito kasi may 18 factorial din sa baba. So, pwede mo yung uh, i-cancel. Ayan. So, may iwan na lang. 20 times 19 is 380. Then, divide natin sa 2. The answer is 190. So, therefore, there are 119 handshakes will be done for 20 guest. So, nasagata na natin ang learning test number one. At disclaimer lang, yes, medyo iniba ko ng konti yung mga quantities or yung given numbers para hindi nyo na basta kopyahin ng answer. So, isipin din at i-analyze yung mga solution na ipinakita ko. Kung nakatulong ang video ko sa sa'yo ngayon, i-like mo na yan at mag-subscribe sa channel ko para maging updated ka sa mga videos na gagawin ko pa dahil marami pang gagawin video lesson si ma'am tungkol sa mathematics. So, kita-kita tayo ulit sa susunod. Okay, see you again next time and goodbye!